Hey YouTube, Moodog 815G, doing a follow-up video to my first in the series, first on my channel uh, for the GMC Denali road bike. Um, kind of doing a little bit of a walk around today and uh, kind of first impressions of the frame. Had it out for a little spin around the block, nothing really major, nothing I can really get a conclusive uh, review for. But uh, I did put the other seat saddle on it that I had uh, lying in the back of my parts bin. Just a cheapo saddle Vader. Yeah, really nice, huh? Uh, and a um, couple adjustments that need to be made yet, obviously. It's still kind of, you know, fresh out of the box yet. Um, the bar is way too wide for my liking. Uh, the stem could use a little bit more rise and uh, a little bit more length, I think. Being that I have the um, seat rails on the seat slid all the way back, I'm trying to get some more cockpit length, um, not really achieving my ultimate goal there. So, probably gonna end up with a different stem on here. I gotta dig through the parts bin, see what I have. If I have anything that'll fit, if I don't, I'm buying on the cheap again. Um, bike looks good, uh, rolls good, adjusted the hubs on both wheels, uh, trimmed up the wheels, they look good. Uh, I apologize right now for the. Um, for the wind noise, it's super windy out here. You can see the bike moving around against that fence. It's gonna hit the ground again. Went down once. <laughs> Hopefully it won't go down again. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, for what it is, guys, I think it's, uh, it's gonna be a winner for this summer and beyond. Frame size seems to fit me well. Uh, it's a compact uh, size frame, so the wheelbase is a little bit shorter. Um, Gearing is low for this bike, but I think it'll be okay once I get used to it, once I get clipless pedals on my feet. I'm just riding with tennis shoes on today, but it um, seems to work out pretty good. Um, again, the only qualms I have, shorten the stem length, I'm, I'm sorry, lengthen the stem, maybe a little bit more rise on it, and uh, I'm going to be replacing this seat post uh, with something uh, that has a built-in uh, clamp or welded on clamp or, or pressed on clamp or whatever uh, and the crank will probably eventually be replaced too although I don't see a problem with it right now uh, just doing these small upgrades that I did with parts that I had around I probably took I'm gonna guess conservatively three to five pounds off the weight of the bike I didn't weigh it prior but I can tell just by lifting it up and having to get on my shoulder now, it's quite a bit lighter than it was um, originally. So, uh, nothing bad to say about the bike at all. The frame is nice. I think it's going to be a good one. Um, I've read some blogs where guys are actually really modding out these bikes and putting some higher end parts on. Uh, one a guy had purchased a uh, Nash Bar carbon fiber fork for his and blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go that far. I think this uh, high tensile steel fork will be fine. It absorbs some of the road shock. I do not like the brakes. Um, I do have different pads on there. I do not like them. Uh, I will probably end up looking through my parts bin or something used. Uh, some uh, dual pivots, uh, probably some Shimano dual pivot brakes. But uh, other than that, guys, I mean, hey, it is what it is. And uh, I give the GMC Denali frame a hearty thumbs up. The bike in and of itself, I think before I did my mods and upgrades to it, uh, is a good value for someone starting out wanting to get into road biking. Uh, about $170, I don't think you can go wrong. Uh, you can upgrade as you go, and this just goes to prove that if you get to this point with the bike, you decide you like the frame enough, and you get to this point with the bike, you can do upgrades like this. It's just a matter of hunting down parts if you don't have them on hand. And, uh, you know, look for used stuff. Look for stuff on eBay. Look for stuff on Craigslist. Craigslist has a bike parts classification. You can find stuff on the cheap. Um, am I advocating necessarily doing that? For me, yeah. For me, because I have the know-how, because I have the tools, because I have the resources for the parts, I think it's a good deal. For someone maybe that doesn't turn a wrench, uh, that's going to have to have somebody else do it, maybe pay labor costs. Yeah, then you're probably, you know, it's probably worth your while upgrading the bike altogether as time goes. 
But as far as this goes, I mean, I've been cycling for a number of years, at least 25 years, and um, some of those years competitively. And honestly, I think this is on par with anything I've, you know, frame-wise with anything I've had before, um, as far as aluminum frames go. Um, it's a nice frame, it's solid, it's tight, it fits me well. What more can I say? Well, I'm going to sign off for now, guys, and uh, I'll be back with more videos on the bike. I'll be doing some riding, and I'll do some uh, uh, tripodometer checks and things like that, and um, just kind of videos from the road and from uh, bike paths with a lot of beautiful bike paths here in southeastern Wisconsin I'm going to be riding on, uh, a lot of scenery. So I'll come back and do some more videos on that, and uh, I guess that's it for now. Dog 815G. Signing out. Later, YouTube.